All right, lift it up and keep the end up. All right, grab it with your other hand. Keep it steady. No, the bottle. Oh, keep okay. it steady. Yep, I'll bring it over here. Grab the bottle out of there. Don't spill it. All right. Set it down in a nice, safe place where you're not going to spill it. Not on the log, on the ground. And don't kick it over. Make sure it's level. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, take that filter. Don't kick your bottle. Open the cap until the green... Okay. Until... So there's an arrow, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to put this arrow on the green there. Okay. See the arrow? Mm -hmm. Spin it this way. Okay. Just to the green. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, gently push the bottle into the cup. Gently. Don't tip it over. Put your hands on the sides. No. There's a handhold on each side okay. to get it towards you. Get mm -hmm. comfortable. It's hard. And just slowly, just nice and slow, keep pushing until it goes all the way down. Nice and slow. Both hands. Just keep going. Get your fingers out of the way. Just to Yep, just use your hands. There you go. Keep going until it's completely filled up. Until it hits. You can't go any further, okay? Mm -hmm. You're almost there. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Good job. Okay, Thanks. now pick it up. Make sure there's nothing on the outside of your bottle or anything. There's nothing up here, right? You don't want to get any contaminants inside. All right, open it up and take a sip. Good to go. How's it taste? Like water. Yeah, so you pre-filtered with that bandana so you didn't get any of that big muddy leafy stuff in there, right? Mm -hmm. You filtered with the grill, and it takes everything else out. If you had to, you could boil it. Wait, is that hard? No. No? All good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Blow harder. Yep, blow into it till you see it glowing. Keep going. Don't blow it away. Just keep blowing gentle, nice and gentle. Keep going. You got it. Keep going. Get ready for it to go into flames, too, okay? You want to just gently move it away from your face and lay it down into your fire pit. You're getting there. Keep going. Keep going. Hold it out away from you a little bit. Keep blowing on it. Keep going. There you go. Lay it down gently. There you go. Good job, buddy. You just did a flint and steel fire. Yep. How does that feel? Painful. What happened the first time? My finger caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you burned yourself. So with fire, you're obviously going to get burned, right? Yes. But we were putting charred material into a tinder bundle so you could blow it into... Into fire? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. now, that's an old school way of doing it. So you've done your... Three. Lighter method. Mm -hmm. You did um, a man-made insta fire with ferro rod. Yes. And, and you just did flint and steel. Awesome job, dude. Thanks. Good job. More to come, huh? Uh huh. Pyre into your tinder, pal. All right, move back. Go. Let's keep the wind away from it. There you go. Good job, dude. Still burning. That's a sustainable fire now. So what you start doing is adding your smalls, like your pines and mm -hmm. stuff like that, all your smalls. And you put stuff a little bit bigger on it. You never want to put anything on there until the flames are above it. Like this? No, that's your tinder. Okay. You never want to put anything on it until the flames are above your original stuff, your original kindling, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is going to dry this stuff out a bit. Then you'd add like your pine branches over. See that stuff on top of the ring right there? Mm -hmm. Grab it Okay. before your fire goes out. You want to keep that close to your fire. Grab that stuff. Yep, break it in two. Put your lighter in your pocket. Oh. So you don't lose it. Hurry up before your tinder, your kindling goes out. Lay it on there. That's good. Keep breaking it. Come on, break the stuff off. Put it on there. That's it, Boy Scout. Come on, hurry it up. Keep going. Now, typically, what you want to do, you want to find dirt to build your fire on and put branches on the ground that you can lay the stuff on so it doesn't get too wet, right? Mm -hmm. 
Watch your arms there. Come on, break that in two and put it on there and find some more. That's good. Go get more. Okay. Over there. Oh, okay. Just lay that big one right on there. Just lay it on there. You want to be f expedient with this. Yeah, I probably would have flipped it over the other way so it was laying on there. But grab the other stuff that's all around there. Oh, okay. Stuff like this? Yeah. Keep going. People are going to be wondering why we're not in the fire ring. This is we're pretending we're out in the middle of the woods, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we are, but... Yeah, well, we're going to control this fire as we go, though. But if this was a cooking fire, you're using that flame like that to build to boil water, right? Mm -hmm. Make your noodles, stuff like that, or to disinfect your water. If you're cooking, like, meats and things like that, you want to get hot coals, and you scrape them away, and you cook over hot coals, right? No. Okay. Grab the other sticks. Right there. Okay. So you got a sustainable fire, you know you can keep it going. In the future, what you want to do is you want to gather a ton of these resources and have it right next to you, which is what we're going to do later on, okay? Now, while I have this video going, tell me, like, give me three things we used as shamogs for today. The bandanas. Um, to collect tender. Like a basket. Yeah. Right? Collect anything from the um, forest. To filter water. Well, pre-filter water. What did we, uh, how many of those did we use for pre-filter? Three. Three. Okay. So we made a three-stage pre-filter. But we used a pre-filter too for a third way. Mm -hmm. How did we do that? We wrapped it around a water bottle and, um, and then put it, like, filtered the water, pre-filtered the water. Why did there. we do that? That way the, um... That way, is any nothing would um get inside of it. So like, like what? Like um leaves and stuff. Yeah, and those little trout that were in the stream. <laughs> like. Yeah, and then um we would use the uh, filter for it. What kind of filter? Go get it. A grill filter. So we pre-filtered with a bandana. You don't have to take that out. Okay. We pre-filtered with a bandana, and then we finished it off with a grail, right? Yeah. Okay, but if we didn't have the grill, we'd use one of those metal containers we have over there. And what would we use this for? Um, to pour on it to... No, no. What would we use that fire oh, for? To boil water? Yep, <laughs> right, and that'll disinfect it, right? So put that stuff down and then keep your fire going. Okay. Okay, what's with the long sticks here, pal? Um, so some of it may be wet, but if we keep on piling it on there, and we keep on moving it forward, then it will sh start to dry out and start to catch fire. Now, what if your shelter was like right here? What could you do with that kind of fire? Um, you could keep on pushing it in from. So you don't even have to shelter. get out of your shelter, do no. you? So you have plenty of those ready? Yeah. You keep pushing them forward, right? Mm -hmm. if they're bigger, it's a little helpful if you have a bigger fire. Yeah. But that's gonna help you, right? Mm -hmm. All right. You think that'll keep going for 10 minutes? Yeah. You gonna keep it going for 10 minutes? All right. What are you working on? Tell people what you're working on. I'm working on my um, outdoors merit badge. No. Nope. Uh, survival merit. Survival merit badge. Yeah, your wilderness survival. My wilderness merit. survival merit badge. Yep. And uh, you also just completed. My second class. No, second. Cl yeah. Yeah, second class. Yep. So you got to get your scoutmaster conference and your board of review. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then you'll be working on your first class. Yep. Which you already started on. Yeah. After this, next weekend, we're working on your archery merit badge. Mm -hmm. right. What do you think of this wilderness survival stuff so far? It's hard, but fun. Yeah? Yeah. It gets easier as you learn how to do it. But you know what? Fire's that thing. <laughs> no bunch of different ways to do it, right? Mm -hmm. What do you carry in your pockets when you're out here? Um. Show me. Stuff like... Um, no, not stuff like... Show me exactly what you carry in your a pockets. A lighter. Okay. Um... A compass and uh, your ranger beads, your my base beads. beads. Yeah, you're doing some navigating today, huh? Yep. Um, my saw. Another way to cut, right? Mhm. Mm What's on your hip there? You don't have to pull it out. What my is... knife. Yep, a fixed blade knife. Yes. Um, my pocket knife. Yep. Or and... a multi-tool, right? Yeah. Um. And then you have a bandana and your hat. And my headlamp. Yeah. What's your clothes considered? Um, shelter also. Yeah, your first form of shelter, yeah. right? 
Okay, and you have a headlamp, mm -hmm. right? And then you have a bag that you carry some other things in. Let's go talk about those things real quick, okay? okay. Now, we haven't done this yet, what we're gonna be using the stove for, mm -hmm. but you have ferro rod, you have mm -hmm. tent stakes, yep. you an emergency tarp, right? Yep. Fishing kit, mm -hmm. you have some paracord, yep. which we're making into ridge lines, right? You got a secondary knife, mm -hmm. it's backup. Yep. And it's got a ferro rod on it too. Duct tape, what's that for? Um, to duct tape stuff, I guess. <laughs> Gear repair and first yeah. aid, right? Then you have an algae bottle. Or just a plastic water bottle. Right, but you don't you don't boil in that. No. What do you use that for? Just drinking water. Yeah, but what, what do you do with your filtered water? I normally put it in here. Yeah, you're gonna put it in there so you can keep your filter bottle empty and ready to go, mm -hmm. right? Now I have the titanium, the Pathfinder titanium when we're using a stainless steel bottle for other things with fire, right? Mm -hmm. And then we ca carried three Shamogs with us, Yep. right? Mm -hmm. And what'd you use those for? All together. I use them for water filtration. Pre-filter, right? Pre-filtration. Pre and we talked about the other stuff already. Yeah. So, and then in your bag, you have your 10 essentials, right? Mm -hmm. Like your, your trail snacks and your yeah. sunscreen and your insect stuff mm -hmm. and your, you got a whistle? Yeah. Where is it? Right around your neck, huh? Yeah. Why is it not in your bag? Because that'd be kind of pointless. <laughs> there it is. It'd be kind of pointless, right? Now we are on our property here where it's like nice and controlled and everything, so it's not unsafe, but even when you're on a property you're familiar with, it takes a lot of work to do this stuff, doesn't it? Yep. All right. You enjoying yourself? Yep. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. All right. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, buddy. A little reflection of your skills and preparedness day. This isn't your shelter. You're just warming up, right? Yeah. What's, What's the purpose of that thing you're laying in? What is that? Warmth. What's it called? A blanket. What kind of blanket? A thermal blanket. Yep. So that's a grabber blanket, and it's a thermal blanket. It's got a mylar side and an orange side. But you have it open, and you have this fire next to you. Why are you doing that? To heat myself up. Your whole body, right? Yeah. Now, luckily, we have these sticks that we can just keep feeding into the fire, right? Yeah. This isn't a primitive shelter. It's no. more like a bivy, emergency bivy, of just if anything. Blanket. Yeah. So, tell me something you learned about that particular blanket today. It keeps you really warm. But what else can you do with it? Uh, Let's say it's really hot out. You can make a shelter out of it. Mm, what side of it do you want to have facing the sun? Probably this inside part. The reflective side? Yeah. What will that do? Make it so the heat's reflecting off of it instead right. of going inside. Right. But when it's cold out like it is today, right? It's mm -hmm. pretty cold out. Yeah. What does that reflective side do when you're laying next to that fire? Makes it nice and warm. You warm under there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I wouldn't lay directly on it like that. I'd have a sleeping pad underneath yeah. and sleeping bag, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're not going to use it as a lean-to shelter, as a bivy, it works out okay, doesn't it? Yep. At least getting you warmed up before we head in, right? Mm -hmm. Before we create your next shelter, yeah. right? So, tell me something that you liked about your day. Uh, I liked striking a ferro rod with a nut. With the, the black of a knife and then lighting this oil wick thing on fire. Inst like a, an insta fire, something we made, right? Yeah, an yeah. insta fire thing. Um, it caught on fire really quickly. Yeah, it did. You yeah. did a good job with that, huh? Uh-huh. So, tell me another thing you liked about your day. Um, I liked starting this fire. Yeah, well, tell, tell people what you were telling me about. What what it's like to do this all day it's hard it's hard yeah a lot of work huh uh -huh. but once you learn how to do it it's, it's fun yeah you just have to chop wood and carry water huh uh -huh. all right buddy enjoy your fire okay